you have a membership in your doctor association you're supposed to pay your membership renewal fees we have opening balance opening balance will not consider and closing balance we will not consider profession of doctor in that doctor what are the professional incomes are there whatever professional expenditures are there these are the note in income tax it is compulsory actually clear A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the session two of your topic called your profit and gain of business or profession. You know this topic because in the previous session I have explained, and we are doing the first topic called your profession. Later will come for your profit and business. Profit of gain of business. First, we'll finish it off profession. Later, we'll come back for your business calculation. Now, in the profession, I have explained you in the previous session about lawyer as well as chartered accountant. And today's session, I am discussing about the profession called doctor. Now, in this we have simple calculation what we have done in the previous session the same format we will follow but along with that we will work out one problem also now the agenda is very simple we will work out concept as well as format also what about concept concept in the sense like your Profession of doctor. In that doctor, what are the professional incomes are there? What are professional expenditures are there? Along with that, we have topic called format. In the form of format, we will learn the format of your professional income of doctor. Later, we will work out one problem also. The first thing will be your doctor format. Now, just assume that you are a doctor. What are your professional income and whatever your professional expenditure you have a doctor you have a small clinic don't assume that you are you are working in some hospital just assume that you have your own clinic then what are your income and what are your expenditures the incomes are like this your incomes are like first one first one your income Whatever the consultation fees you will get, 500, 600, that will be your income. If you do some operation, for that you will get income. Any patient will give you with love and affection gift, that is your income. If you do any examination work for your juniors, that will be your income. Any visiting fees, you went to that particular house and you have visited, for example, one lady is there, she is around 90 years of old, she cannot come to your clinic. Being with the humanity, you only went to their house. Then you will charge some visiting charges. Those RLs. Now, along with treatment, you are selling your medicines also. Those are called as your income. Hope you are clear. Yes. Which are the expenses? You have a clinic, you are supposed to pay rent. You have to pay electricity bill. You have to pay salary all to your staff. You have a landline, telephone. You are supposed to pay your telephone bill. All comes under your expenditure. Along with that, you have huge surgical equipment. For that surgical equipment, you are supposed to charge depreciation. The repair charges. You are supposed to visit your client, for your patients, so that the fuel charges you spend, the repair of your motor vehicle, and you have a membership in your doctor association, you are supposed to pay your membership renewal fees, all comes under your professional expenditure. Hope you are clear? Yes, professional income and professional expenditure. Hope you are clear with the concept. Now, so these are the professional receipt like consultation fees, operation fees, visiting fees, sale of medicine, gift from patients, examination, examiner's fees, any other professional receipt. Hope you are clear. 
Yes, these are the receipt we have. Which are the payments we have? Like dispensary. Dispensary in the sense what? Your rent, light, water, charges, salary, staff, telephone, expense. All comes under part of your clinic expenses. Along with the cost of medicine, depreciation on motor expenses, then nursing home expenses, cost of books for professional any medical related books you want then you will buy you will you have to purchase that those are called as along with that we get stationery also why because we have sheets for to take print out we have sheets we have pens we have printer so these are the expenses comes under your professional expenses hope you are clear yes i'll go for one problem now hope you will understand if you understand this format, you will understand the problem also. Now, this will be your problem. You are supposed to compute professional income of medical practitioner. In this, what happens? Like, we have opening balance. Opening balance will not consider. And closing balance we will not consider. Now, consultation fees you have to consider. Visiting fees, yes. Sale of medicine, yes gift from patient yes rent from house property see even though you are not a doctor if you are illiterate also you can get rent from house property this is not your professional income we call it as income but we don't call it as professional income if it is a professional income being a doctor you will get consultation fees being a doctor you will get visiting fees being a doctor you can sell medicine being a lecturer i cannot sell medicine that's why selling medicine is not my profession selling medicine is a profession of doctor now dividend received even though i can invest in the shares i can collect dividend so being doctor or uh, RS being a graduate of MBBS, it is not required to invest in the shares. Hope you understood. Yes, this is all about your professional income. What about professional expenditure? Now, professional expenditure in the sense salary of staff, yes, you are supposed to pay. Rent, yes. Cost of medicine, yes. Membership fees, yes. Purchase of car, see. Purchase of car is a capital expenditure. We will not consider purchase of car. Depreciation on car, we will consider clear. Sometimes what happens, half used for personal, half used for your office purpose. Then only half only we should consider. Now, surgical equipment, yes, we have to, but we take only depreciation. Car expenses take municipal tax, see, Municipal tax paid for what? House. So it is not your professional expenditure. It is your personal expenditure. Stationery, yes. Drawings, no. Income tax, personal. Sundry, what is sundry expenses? Sundry in the sense small, small expenses. Like coffee, tea comes under here. If any patient comes, you have taken one liter water. That is your uh, sundry expenses. You have sent your subordinate to bring medicine. He spent 100 rupees for fuel. All comes under sundry expenses. Donation. We have to see the adjustment. Always remember, we have to see the adjustment. If the donation given for medical purpose or any professional purpose we have to consider. If the donation given for some Rajiv Gandhi fund or Indira Gandhi fund or donation given for some children education fund, we will not consider as professional expenditure. If donation given for any medical association, consider as professional. So we have to look for the adjustment. If no adjustment is given, it is not your professional expenditure. Now, LIC, your personal closing balance, we will not take. Hope you are clear. Yes. These are the adjustment we have, as I told you. Now, rent of the shop, 10,000 paid for his residential house. See, how much rent paid? Rent of the shop is 50,000 minus residence is 10,000. 
take only 40,000. Clear? 50 minus 10,000, we should consider only 40,000. Hope you are clear. Yes, this is done. Next, along with that, second adjustment. Membership fees for the medical association, we should consider, it is not donation, membership fees. Then, if the same membership fees for club, it is not a professional. If it is paid for medical association, it is a professional. Then, one third of the car expenses related to his personal use. See, one third means three minus one, it is two. Two third is professional purpose. Hope you are clear. Two third is used for professional purpose. Then donation are paid for CM flood. So it is not your profession. Then depreciation on car is 6,000 and 7,000. Remember, we will not take complete 6,000 because out of 6,000, profession is how much? Two third. Any information about car, you should consider two by three. Into two by three, it will be how much? 4,000 something. We have to consider. Hope you are clear. Yes, I'll go to the answer. So this will be your answer like computation of professional income for the assessment year 2020 and 2021. In this, consultation fees, visiting fees, sale of medicine, gift from patient. It is over. Now, what is the total? 3,5,000. Now, see, we have not considered rent and dividend. We have taken 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, salary to staff. Rent of shop. 50 minus 10,000 residential. Your answer is 40. Cost of medicine. Yes. Membership fees. Yes. Car expenses. 8,000 into 2 by 3. Why it is 2 by 3? 1 by 3 is for personal. Now, stationary full depreciation 6000 into 2 by 3 block of asset 7 all put together 1,46,833 now 3,5000 minus 1,46 your answer is how much 1,58,167 any doubt no doubt will clear this your final answer professional income is 1,58,167 167. Hope you understood. Yes, I'll go back to all the slides now so that you can take screenshot. So this is your question. This is the adjustment. The solution part. These are the note. Note in the sense, rent of house property dividend is not a professional. Purchase of car or surgical equipment are fixed asset. Drawing donation are personal. These are the note in income tax. It is compulsory actually. Clear? So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood what is the calculation of your doctor profession. So it is the easiest one. Easily you can score 10 marks out of this. Thank you.